professionals on the move depend on paging to keep them in touch. Skytel two-way paging ushers in a new age of portable, personal communication. With Skytel two-way, you can reply to your pages directly from your pager. And the person who sent you the page can confirm its reception and collect your reply. Your message arrives. You can send a reply. And the person who sent you the page can confirm its reception and collect your reply. Sounds simple enough, and in a way, it is. But how that happens, how the network protects and directs your messages, can take some getting used to. This video will help you understand the Skytel two-way network and how that network works over time, getting your messages to you. The part of the network that carries a page to a pager, called the forward path, works very much like traditional paging. Using a variety of means, telephones, special software, or even the internet, users address a message to you. However they're entered, messages wind up here at the NOC, or Network Operations Center. Now from the NOC, these messages go up to a satellite and then back down to a local area market where you are. You don't get that message directly from the satellite. You wouldn't enjoy the bulky receiver dish hat you'd have to wear. Instead, the message, once received in a local market, is broadcast by a local transmitter directly to your Skytel two-way pager. Then the real magic begins. The instant that page is received, your pager automatically sends out a brief message over its own little transmitter, confirming the delivery of the page. That confirmation is picked up by one of several listening devices called receivers that Skytel conceals throughout a coverage area. Those receivers pass the confirmation back to the NOC. Once it arrives, the sender of the original message can collect it when he likes. This leg of the trip, the route from the pager back to the NOC, is referred to as the return path. It's the same route, incidentally, followed by replies sent from your two-way pager. All of this works wonderfully as long as you're within range of the transmitters or receivers. But since people move around, odds are that from time to time, you'll be outside of a coverage area despite our best efforts. But what's going to happen when I move outside of the range of those transmitters and receivers? Well, with traditional paging, when you move outside a covered area and someone tries to send you a page, this is what happens. Absolutely nothing. The message is transmitted, the signal travels as far as it can, and finally breaks up about 10 to 15 miles from the transmitter. If you're using a Skytel traditional pager, you could still get that message by dialing in to page recall. Otherwise, you'll be forced to speak those dreaded words that no one really believes anyway, I never got your page. With Skytel two-way paging, something entirely different happens. Remember, when a message reaches the Skytel two-way pager, a silent electronic receipt confirming message delivery is automatically sent back to the NOC. As soon as the NOC sends a message, it listens for that confirmation. If he doesn't hear it within a few minutes, the NOC sends the message again. After a couple of attempts, the NOC decides the subscriber is out of range. At that point, instead of tying up the network broadcasting your message over and over, the NOC stores the message in a special mailbox. From that point on, the NOC doesn't try to send you the message, but it does try to find out where you are. About once an hour or so, the NOC sends out something called a locator query, a signal to the pager that says, hey, when you hear this, would you let me know where you are? 
This continues for a number of hours, after which, perhaps feeling a bit ignored, the knock falls silent. What happens to your message after that? It stays in the special mailboxes for several hours. After that point, it's discarded. Still, you're better off than you would have been with traditional paging. Even after the message is discarded, the sender can check the delivery status and see that delivery of his message was never confirmed. Message delivery not confirmed. Meanwhile, the two-way pager is doing its part to make sure your message gets to you if at all possible. In addition to sending delivery confirmations and replies, the pager can send the knock two special kinds of signals, deregistrations and auto-registrations. Whenever you turn the pager off, it sends a deregistration signal, a short message telling the knock, I'll be out for a while, hold my messages. After a pager deregisters, the knock doesn't even try to deliver messages. Instead, it places any new messages in your knock mailbox for safekeeping. When you turn the pager on, it sends an auto registration signal, a short message telling the knock, here I am. If you're in a coverage area at the time, receivers detect the signal and the knock forwards any stored messages to you. Auto registration also happens when you've been out of transmitter range and wander back in. When you do, the pager silently auto registers. If you're within range of a receiver, the knock hears the signal and forwards any messages you received while you were out of range. How can you put this information to work? Here's one simple application. The airport. Because Skytel caters to business clients, most transmitters and receivers are clustered around the city and the airports. You're likely to be in a coverage zone whenever you're in an airline terminal. Just before departing, be sure to turn your pager off. Turning your pager off forces it to deregister, essentially telling the knock, save my messages, I'll be back. Thank you. When you land, turn your pager on. Any messages sent while you've been up in the air are forwarded to you immediately. You can use the same trick when you're driving from one covered city to another. Simply turn the pager off when you leave, then turn it on when you arrive. That brings us to our complicated network diagram. Imagine this tiny tomato is actually a transmitter, placed here in the center of a Skytel two-way coverage area. The signal, represented by the cheese, spreads out in all directions for about 10 or 15 miles. That creates the forward path, or the path over which a sender's information travels to your Skytel two-way pager. Engineers come into a Skytel two-way coverage area and place these receivers, or slices of pepperoni, within transmitter coverage to create the return path, or the part of the network that picks information up from the pager's tiny transmitter and relays it back to the knock. Engineers move these around within a market area in order to achieve maximum return path coverage. The ultimate goal? Make forward path, or transmitter coverage, roughly equal to reverse path or receiver coverage. With all these details in mind, let's take a look at some common questions. How will I know if I'm out of range? That one's easy. Watch your pager. Whenever your pager is displaying these tiny antennae, or telephone poles, you've wandered too far from the transmitter for the pager to hear its signal. Now remember, it takes a few minutes for the pager to check for the transmitter signal. So you may be out of coverage for a minute or two before you see these indicators on your screen. How will I know if I'm out of range of a receiver? The only way your pager knows that a receiver isn't around is if it tries to send a reply and the reply fails. When you successfully reply to a message in your pager mailbox, a little check mark appears by the sender's message. The check confirms your reply has been received by the knock. When your reply to a message is unsuccessful, an X appears by the sender's message, letting you know that your reply didn't make it back to the knock. If you try to reply and the reply fails, you're probably outside return path coverage. 
Sometimes I got duplicate messages. What's up with that? This problem can be pointed out with our pizza. In some cases, it's possible to be here, where you're within transmitter range, but you're too far from a receiver for the system to hear the replies and confirmations coming from your pager. When that's the case, it's possible for someone to send you a page, and you'll receive it. But because confirmation can't get back to the NOC, the NOC doesn't think that you did. In just a few minutes, the NOC sends the message again. And since confirmation still won't be received, the NOC will send the message again. Tomorrow, as I drive back into receiver range, I'm likely to get yet another duplicate of the page. This time, one the NOC can confirm. Remember, you won't be charged for all those duplicates. Even though you receive the message four times, you only pay to receive that message once. The one time the knock can confirm delivery to your Skytel two-way pager. Sometimes I seem to be in coverage one minute and out of coverage the next. What's going on? That brings us to the one problem with our pizza diagram. The pizza's topped with mozzarella, but we really should have topped it with this. Swiss! If you seem to be experiencing on-again, off-again coverage, especially while driving through a city, you're probably seeing the effects of what engineers actually call Swiss cheese, small holes in transmitter or receiver coverage. These holes exist in all paging networks and can be caused by a number of factors. Hilly terrain, blockage due to thick trees, windowless buildings, or even weather. With traditional paging systems, if a message comes while you're in a Swiss cheese hole, you never know it. You just miss the message. Remember, the Skytel two-way system compensates for these holes by storing and forwarding your messages for you. Sometimes I get my pages at home, other times I'm not able to. What's happening? You probably live out in a fringe area. Now, a fringe area is a space that, because of its distance from the transmitter, has trouble receiving pages reliably due to changes in weather or terrain. Fringe areas can also exist inside a coverage area, where trees or construction can occasionally obscure the paging signal. Especially if you live outside of town, when you're at home on the range, you're probably out of range. But don't worry, the system will save all your messages and forward them to you when you return to coverage. Every now and then I get a message that's time stamped hours ago. What's wrong? Nothing, because that's how store and forward works. Messages which come when you're out of range are stored for you and then forwarded to you when you can receive them. To keep you from thinking those are new messages, the knock date and time stamps them and then sends them on to your Skytel two-way pager. My messages are always exactly 60 minutes late. What's the problem? Because America covers at least five time zones, our system has to know which time zone you live in. Otherwise, the timestamp placed on your message may seem to be incorrect. If your messages consistently seem to be an hour or two late, chances are you need to call Skytel two-way customer service and have them program your account to reflect the time zone you actually live in. While having a forward path, a reverse path, and a paging system that is constantly trying to get your messages to you can take some getting used to. The fact is, no other paging system in the world is so dedicated to getting your messages to your pager. Remember, if Skytel can't confirm that a message reached you, you don't pay for that message. And while other companies might begin utilizing similar two-way pagers, they won't have access to the NOC, our store and forward system, or any of the features which make Skytel two-way the most advanced messaging product in the world.